Welcome to a lesson on the test of homogeneity using a chi-square distribution. The goodness of fit test can be used to decide whether a population fits a given distribution, but it will not suffice to decide whether two populations follow the same unknown distribution. A different test, called the test of homogeneity, can be used to draw a conclusion about whether two populations have the same distribution. The test of homogeneity expands the two-proportion z-test, which has only two categories. The test of homogeneity is used when there are more than two categories. To calculate the test statistic for a test of homogeneity, we follow the same procedure as with the test of independence. If you remember, for the test of independence, we had to calculate the expected values. However, in this video, we'll be using the TID4 to automatically calculate the expected values. So the common uses for the test of homogeneity are for comparing two population distributions. For example, men versus women, before versus after, east versus west. For the test of homogeneity, the null hypothesis is the distributions of the two populations are the same. The alternative hypothesis is the distributions of the two populations are not the same. The test statistic is chi-square. The degrees of freedom are equal to the number of columns minus one, and there is a requirement that all values in the table must be greater than or equal to five. Let's take a look at an example. Do male and female college students have the same distribution of living arrangements? Use a level of significance of 0.05. Suppose that 250 randomly selected male college students and 300 randomly selected female college students were asked about their living arrangements, dormitory, apartment, with parents, or other. The results are shown below. Do male and female college students have the same distribution of living arrangements? Because we are given the level of significance, we know alpha is equal to 0.05. Because we are testing to see if the distributions are the same, we are performing a test of homogeneity, and therefore the null hypothesis is the distribution of living arrangements for male college students is the same as the distribution of living arrangements for female college students, and the alternative hypothesis is the distribution of living arrangements for male college students is not the same as the distribution of living arrangements for female college students. Notice how the table has four columns of data, and therefore the degrees of freedom are equal to four minus one, which is three, and therefore the distribution for the test is the chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. The next step is to enter the data into the calculator as matrix A. Notice how we have two rows and four columns of data, and therefore we enter the data as a two by four matrix. We will enter the data in matrix A. And then the T84 will automatically calculate the expected values in matrix B when we perform the chi-square test. So going to the calculator, we press second x to the power of negative one for the matrix menu, right arrow to edit, select matrix A by pressing enter. I've already entered the dimensions and the matrix. If the dimensions were not two by four, you would enter two, enter, four, enter, then enter the data. The next step is to calculate the test statistic of chi-square as well as the p-value. To do this, we press stat, right arrow twice to test. We need to arrow up or down here. I'm gonna arrow up and select option C, chi-square test, enter. Notice how the observed values are in matrix A. That's the data from the table. We did not enter the expected values. They will be automatically calculated and stored in matrix B. So we go down to calculate, press enter. Chi-square is approximately 10.13, and the p-value is approximately 0.0175. Let's go ahead and record this information. The p-value is also equal to the probability that chi-square is greater than or equal to 10.13. Now if we go back to the calculator just for a moment, I do want to show you that if we look at matrix B, we can see the expected frequencies. To do this, we press second, x to the power of negative one, go down to matrix B, press enter, and enter again, and here we can see the expected values. They were automatically calculated. And then before we compare the p-value to alpha, let's take a look at the graph of the chi-square distribution. Below we have the graph of the chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. The p-value is equal to the area to the right of 10.13, the shaded area here, 
which again is approximately 0 0.0175. And now if we compare the p-value to alpha, notice how the p-value is low compared to alpha. When the p-value is low, the null must go. Or more formally, because the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, or because alpha is greater than or equal to the p-value, we reject the null hypothesis. Remember, the null hypothesis is the distributions are the same, and therefore this means the distributions are not the same. Our final conclusion is, at a 5% level of significance from the data, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the distributions of living arrangements for male and female college students are not the same. Also notice the conclusion is only that the distributions are not the same. We cannot use the test of homogeneity to draw any conclusions about how they differ. I hope you found this helpful.